Minnesota court, cannabis smell can't justify car searches. It's for those keeping tabs on the evolving landscape of marijuana regulations in the U.S., the recent decision from the Minnesota Supreme Court offers a moment of triumph. Let's dive deep into this precedent-setting case. The case at a glance, Adam Torgerson was pulled over in Meeker County in 2021. The reason? Excessive auxiliary lights on his vehicle's grill. But the plot thickened when the Litchfield police officer claimed to have caught a whiff of marijuana emanating from the vehicle. With Adam, his wife, and a child on board, the assertion was straightforwardly denied. Yet, the officer wasn't alone in his claims. A second officer attested to the same smell, leading both to search the vehicle. This search yielded a minor amount of methamphetamine and some drug-related paraphernalia. Importantly, there was no open-view evidence of a crime, and Torgerson's driving was consistent with traffic rules. Courtroom drama, from district to Supreme Court, while the discovery might sound incriminating, the district court ruled that the evidence procured from this search wasn't admissible. Why? By 2021, marijuana status in Minnesota wasn't entirely illicit. From medical marijuana patients to the decriminalization of small quantities, possession wasn't necessarily criminal. The state's persistence brought the case to the appeals court, and ultimately to the Supreme Court. The climax? The Supreme Court agreed with the lower courts. Justice and McKeague drew parallels with a prior ruling, stating that just as the smell of alcohol isn't adequate for a vehicle search, either should be the odor of cannabis. This consideration, McKeague asserted, should be part of an overall examination to deduce whether a search is warranted. However, not all were in agreement. Chief Justice Lori Gildia held a contrasting view, citing the scent as probable cause. Minnesota vs. Colorado, a comparative look, interestingly, Minnesota's recent decision closely aligns with a precedent set in Colorado. Since 2016, the Centennial State has been at the forefront of marijuana regulations in the U.S., being among the first states to legalize recreational marijuana use in 2012. This progressive approach towards cannabis continued when, in 2016, Colorado's legal system declared that merely detecting the aroma of marijuana wasn't adequate grounds to justify a vehicle search. This standpoint emerged from Colorado's understanding of the changing landscape around marijuana possession and usage. As recreational use became more mainstream, law enforcement had to adapt their practices to avoid infringing on personal freedoms. The rationale behind this is twofold. Firstly, with marijuana being legal, its scent no longer necessarily indicates illegal activity. Secondly, to protect individual rights, the state decided that more concrete evidence or probable cause is required for such searches. Moreover, Colorado's decision reflects its broader commitment to adjusting law enforcement practices in light of evolving social norms and legal frameworks. This perspective not only underscores the importance of individual rights but also highlights the need for continuous adaptation in legal frameworks as society changes. The bigger picture, legalization and civil liberties, one cannot help but wonder about the subsequent statewide legalization of low-dose THC edibles in 2022 and the legalization of personal-use marijuana this year in Minnesota. Yet, this ruling stands separate and focuses more on the broader implications. Civil libertarians and racial justice champions celebrate this verdict, seeing it as a stand against potential unconstitutional searches that infringe upon the Fourth Amendment. At Ethereal Gold Dispensary, we believe in staying informed about the ever-shifting marijuana landscape. We're committed to ensuring our customers not only have the finest cannabis products, but also the knowledge about their rights and evolving legislation. Stay tuned for more updates in the realm of cannabis legalization and policies. FAQ What was the main point of the Minnesota Supreme Court's decision? The Minnesota Supreme Court decided that the mere smell of marijuana isn't adequate grounds to justify a vehicle search. How does Minnesota's ruling relate to Colorado's stance on the same issue? Minnesota's ruling aligns with Colorado's precedent set in 2016. In Colorado, it was established that the mere aroma of marijuana doesn't provide sufficient cause for car searches. Why did Colorado decide that marijuana odor alone isn't enough for a vehicle search? With the legalization of recreational marijuana use in Colorado, 
the scent of cannabis no longer necessarily indicates illegal activity. The state determined that more concrete evidence or probable cause is needed to protect individual rights and avoid infringing on personal freedoms. How has marijuana legalization impacted vehicle search regulations? As cannabis use has become legal or decriminalized in various states, law enforcement practices have had to adapt. The scent of marijuana, which might have once been a clear sign of illegal activity, now requires a more nuanced understanding in states where possession and use might be legal. Are these rulings likely to influence other states' laws regarding marijuana odor and vehicle searches? While rulings in Minnesota and Colorado may not directly change laws in other states, they do set a precedent. As more states move towards legalization or decriminalization of marijuana, they might look to these precedents when evaluating their own search and seizure protocols related to the odor of marijuana. If you are a cannabis enthusiast and are interested in having federally legal cannabis products delivered right to your doorstep, Ethereal Gold Dispensary has a special offer code September blog that you can use to get 10% off of an order of any of our full panel lab tested cannabis goodies.